Well, 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 look at that. I've been training it for a while and we got ourselves a clue scroll and a body talisman. Cool. And here we go for the best clue reward ever. Actually, that is not too bad because I still needed a staff. That's so uh, very welcome. I got myself a giant key, but no, I'm not going to do this in a very, very long time. So I'm just going to keep this with me very safely, but not use it. Here we go, another clue scroll that is always welcome. <laughs> yeah, best reward ever. As you can see, the combat skills are coming in quite nicely, and I also got myself another clue scroll, so uh, let's complete that very quickly. Alright, so for my clue, I need 18 crafting to make leather chaps. Um, I had 16, so I decided to complete this little quest here, which gives 600 crafting XP, and that should give me the level that I need. Exactly, level 18, that is very nice. So now I can do that and uh, complete the clue scroll. Okay then, here we go again. <laughs> it is an upgrade, so I'm kinda happy. At the very last kill I needed to do to get 25 defense, I got myself another clue scroll, so uh, yeah, let's do it. So for this clue scroll I needed a chef's hat and a red cape. Now I killed some imps, I got myself a chef's hat, but also uh, a mind talisman and a white bead, which is uh, always welcome of course. Uh, already have a red bead in the bank, so I'm close to completing imp catcher. And now I think I can buy a red cape in the Varrock clothing store, I think. So uh, let's go there and then complete the clue scroll. Alright, so here we go for the reward. Can we get a rare? Nope. This is uh, not that great. Oh, this sucks. I have decided that I want to train some magic, so for that I want to complete the Imp Catcher quest. And if you can see in my inventory, I got all the beads now, so that's gonna be very nice. I can complete the quest, get level 8 magic for free and an amulet of accuracy. And then I will train my magic to level 25 so that I can teleport to Varrock, which will make things a lot easier. Yeah! Look at that, the quest is completed with level 8 magic and a new amulet, that is awesome. I'm gonna train my magic to level 13 with water strike and after that I want to use fire strike, so I need to buy a staff of fire, gonna do that. Now let's go to the rune shop and buy some stuff. I killed two hill giants and look what happens, another clue scroll, this is unbelievable. And here we go again. Mmm, nope. Holy shit. Literally, the first kill, once again. <laughs> Look at that, Staff of Earth. I did not have that yet, so yeah, always welcome. And this, I'm not sure what to say about this. Every single time, a clue scroll. And level 19 magic, by the way. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. And Hatsa. Uh, nope, I've got all these items and no rare, so, um, nope, nope, nope. Alright, so there is something that I totally forgot about, but this is so useful. There's this guy here, Diango, and I can buy this book, this chronicle thing, I believe. Where is it? This one. And this thing actually holds teleports to the champion guild. Now, this is very expensive, 150 coins per teleport, but let's just buy, I don't know, 10? Let's go for 10, and um, that should be enough for a while, but now I can teleport to the Champions Guild whenever I want, which is really useful, because it's close to Varrock and the Hill Giants, so uh, yeah, really awesome. Alright, so I got my magic level 25 now, so I can use teleport to Varrock, that is very, very nice. I think I'm going to continue with my strength again to level 40, and then uh, we'll see what I will do next. Okay, so I'm currently doing this maze, and I remember that maze rewards can be really, really good. I mean, I'm still in free-to-play, so I don't know if that affects anything. I don't think it does. Um, but I think that, you know, you can get a very nice amount of runes or arrows or cash or whatever. Look at that. Completed the maze. Can we get something good? Would be very nice. Mm, ooh, steel arrow. And some coal. Uh, mithril ore, sorry. Oh, not bad. Yeah, I'll take it. I filled up this inventory and I think I have a great way um, to bank now so um, because I need prayer you know I need an altar and um, I think a very nice way to do this is by just going to clan wars 
So uh, let me just try this out. I think this will work like very well. Um, because in Clan Wars I can find a portal that will reset my stats basically. So my prayer, my run energy. Um, there's also a bank so I can just bank my loot. And after that I can use this book to teleport back to the um, to the Champions Guild and then go back up to the uh, to the Hill Giants. So I think that's a great way to, uh, to bank uh, at a very quick way. So in the portal we go and then we just uh, teleport. And that should restore our stats. There we go. And just run up and then uh, we can you know, continue another trip. So that's uh, very nice. Look at this, guys. I just trained my first official prayer level outside of the wilderness from 43 to 44. I mean, I will just keep burying the bones and uh, we'll get to uh, 50 soon enough, I guess. <laughs> no, it's still going to take a while. But uh, yeah, another level. It has been a while, but uh, we got another clue scroll. I really feel like doing this because now I finally have some teleports. So... I think I can do it a little quicker than uh, I normally do, so nice. Okay, so for this clue I need to catch a herring, um, which is 10 fishing. Now normally I wanted to do the quest X marks the spot to get some free XP in choice. I wanted to do that on fishing because I hate the early levels. Shrimp are so slow. But the thing is that the reward of this quest is a beginner glue scroll as well, but only if you don't have one. And I have one, so I would be wasting a glue scroll, and I hate doing that. So the only option for me now is just to train fishing the regular way. So I'm going to do that and um, then complete the glue scroll. Let's buy some fishing stuff like a uh, rod, a fly fishing rod, and some bait, I think. Let's just buy one pack, I think. Should be enough for now. Yeah. Fine. Well, there we go. We got a herring, so we completed the clue, and now I can sim simply do this, teleport, and we will be super close to Charlie the Tramp. So let's uh, complete the clue. Can we get something good this time? Not really. I suppose this would be an upgrade, but <laughs> I can simply buy that, so no, it's not that good, but I can sell the staff for some money, I suppose. Yoohoo! We are in the Barbarian Village Tower, and this is the moment where I will open my casket. Let's see. That is awful. Oh, man. Well, here we go. Level 40 strength. That is very, very nice. And I think it is now time to do something challenging. We're going to go to the Ice Giants to try and get ourselves a um, Adamant Sword. I don't have 30 attack yet, but I will train that on the way. And, uh, yeah, it would be nice to have a new uh, weapon upgrade, so... Gonna go there now. In case you're wondering why I'm here, um, what I just did is um, you can basically teleport to Port Sarim if you go to the Shantae Pass, talk to the guy and say that you're an outlaw. Then he basically, you know, transports you to this cell. So it's a very quick way to get here, which is nice because I need to go to the uh, Ice Giants in here. So, yeah. There is a good chance that this is not going to be a success. But, uh... Let's just give it a try. I mean, I want to kill the Ice Giants. I don't even care, like, if I can kill many. But I just want some useful drops. So, let's uh, see how this will work out, I guess. I've done my first Ice Giant trip. I killed 13. Um, the only thing I got, basically, is uh, some Mind Runes, 1000 coins, and a Black Kite Shield. So, I suppose that is an upgrade. But, of course, I want uh, better stuff than this. I want the adamant stuff, and, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get that uh, in the next round. Okay, so this is really stupid. It turns out that I've been looking at the wrong drop table, because the adamant sword and adamant kite shield are only um, obtainable in revenant caves, and I cannot access that in a free-to-play world. So, yeah, that's why I was getting the iron and steel weapons all the time. I think the best thing I can get is like a Mithril Square Shield and a Mithril Mace, but that's kind of it. So I think I'm going to leave this place and go back to the Hill Giants for a bit longer, and then we'll see what other monster I'm going to kill. Maybe Lesser Demons with Magic, because they drop Adamant stuff, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sell all these weapons that I collected from killing the Hill Giants and other creatures and stuff, uh, mostly Hill Giants I think. And uh, I'm going to try to buy back a um, adamant sword with all the money that I get. So, Well, look at that. It is just enough. So this is great. The reason I'm not buying a long sword is because this one has the same speed as a scimitar. So i rather use this one. So, um, yeah. That's an upgrade, guys. An Eddie sword. Yeah.